So the first thing that you need to do when you're starting a new project in HTML is create a index.html file. And I know this sounds weird, like why would I name it index.html? It has to be named like that. It's magic. Web servers are made in a way that they always look for the index.html first. So if your file is called ind space ex.html, it will not work. If your file ends on in htm, it may not work. The majority of times it doesn't work, but it may work in all projects or in all servers or something like that. But just put the L at the end because that's the right uh, the right one. And another thing is that if you put index with a capital I, it may not work either. You have to be very literal. And you will find that from now on in every tutorial you're doing, you're, you're gonna find that computers are very literal. So that means if they're telling me to name it index like this, I have to name it index exactly like this. I can change a little thing. And the majority of the errors junior developers make, and seniors as well, it's misspells. Because we're humans, we make a lot of mistakes, but senior developers understand that. So they always double check and they don't trust themselves. So let's create the index.html file. And that's gonna automatically be detected by the server when we start. We're gonna fill it in with information, but not right now. All I wanted to explain is that the index.html is the entry file and it's what the server will start reading. It will not read the git.yml or the learn.json. If you have no idea what those files are, don't worry about it. Those are just files right now for you. All that matters is that you have one little file called index.html. So once you create that file, make sure you press the test button on the top. It will validate that you did it the right way. You have to wait a few seconds and then it will tell you here, all tests have passed. And it will also tell you on the top, you will see the, the green color on the top. So that's an indicator. If you didn't create it correctly, let's say that I put a space on it or I, I misspell it and I put an extra E at the end and I test it again, it will tell me that is not as expected. And I will be able to see that the file index.html should exist. That's the, the message here that says fail. So that's a good uh, way to know what's happening. We try to make this test in a way that they will be very explicit for you, but it's impossible sometimes, so bear with us. It's just a help. Try to use it like a help. So let me fix this right away. Put it back as index.html. I can test again. And then finally, you will be able to go to the next step like that.